Hello everybody, this is Biotiv Anime, and welcome to my tutorial on how to use the QK config software for QWERTY keys, uh, tri-mode PCB keyboards. Now I know for QWERTY keys, uh, they're wired PCBs, you could use other software like VIA or VIAL, but for uh, tri-mode PCBs, uh, you have to use um, QK config for changing and uh, customizing the settings there. So, and that I haven't really seen a video dedicated to it. So hopefully this video helps you out. If you prefer a written format, a uh, written guide, uh, please check out QK's Notion pages as they have a section on uh, software for each of their respective keyboards uh, for with step-by-step -step instructions and screenshots on how to use that software. Um, but if you prefer a video format, uh, this is where you can stay. I'll put the link in description for those uh, Notion pages. Uh, since I'll be using a QK75, which doesn't have backlighting, if you have a, like a QK60, which does, those functions might look a little different. There's some extra lighting functions here. And so you can check out those Notion pages to find out more. Uh, so when you first open the software, this is what you should see if your keyboard's in wired mode. If it's not in wired mode, you'll see this no device found error message. Uh, so if you swap back to wired mode, it should pop back up once it's detected. There it is. Uh, so you'll see on the left, there are uh, different uh, options. So there's the key, macro, and a cog settings. In cog settings, you can only really just change the language to Chinese or English. You can auto run it, reset the keyboard, factory store. On some builds, you might want to do a firmware upgrade before uh, you're done with building your keyboard. So that's that function there. Um, but other than that, it's very simple. If we go back to keys, you'll see that there are four other, there's four options here. There's key map, which is the bulk of the functionality. There's layouts, documents, and key test. I'll st uh, keep key map for last because um, we'll get into the more nitty gritty there. So let's go layouts first. This is really for you, um, depending on how your board is set up. If you bought an ISO board layout board, you would want to enable this to have that right enter key uh, in the correct position. Uh, split backspace or split left shift to enable those ones if you have um, the correct layout for your keyboard. For me, I'll have all of those off because I have the normal standard ANSI layout. Then there's the documents tab, which really should be called file, I think, or export or import, because what this does is that it lets you save your current layout into an XML file. So press save and it'll, it'll export it out. And then you can also load back in an existing file if needed. Uh, so if you want to have another board that has the exact same layout as the board you have, you can export it from one board, import it to another. And you can do that actually by changing um, boards here. So you can even have two QK boards uh, plugged in at once, and I think you can switch through here. I, I haven't verified this because I don't have another board like that, but you can see it's labeled QK75, and you can switch for previous and next device. Uh, then there's also key tests, which is very helpful when you're building your keyboard. Um, you'll pre Once you press your keys, it will light up. Um, they actually recommend you uh, take a look at this before you even set it up, uh, start building your board. Uh, if you take, just take the PCB, you use some tweezers or something, and uh, there's two holes on each switch. Connect them, um, activate them to make sure they register. Then you can check if your PCB has any um, defects. Uh, it's also great for if you want to check if, uh, when you, after you put in all your switches, if any of the switches have bent pins, because uh, then it won't register, and you can you can tell uh, this way. If you press reset, the highlights are gone, and you can restart. So let's go into key map now. So in key maps, you'll see there are uh, multiple layers, so those are for your function layers, uh, as well as one keyboard layout here and another keyboard layout here. This top one is your own board, so you can see it's a QK75, so it doesn't have numpad or any other other buttons. Uh, and this is for you to select which key you want to assign a function to. And then bottom is the actual keyboard functions you can assign to. You can pretty much change your board for to do anything, use any key you want. Uh, in the basic tab, there's your alphanumeric and function keys and whatnot. In media, there's your media functions. Layers is for your different function layers. Special, so function keys, win lock, if you want to mimic like a gaming keyboard to lock your Windows key, as well as some other ones like changing language or whatnot. Lighting, so if you have your back lighting for your keyboard, you can do that. And macros from M0 to all the way to M15, so 16 macro keys you can have. So like I said, you can really change 
to anything you want. I'm on layer zero, which is the default top layer. We have, so if I want to change my M key to say you, uh, to a P key, I can do that. Uh, if I, let's bring up notepad. Now, if I press my M, it shows P's. So that's great if you want to prank somebody. I'm going to change it back to M, but it's also good if you want to actually want to change a function um, to do something else. If you want it, uh, so layer one is my first function layer. So if I press, if you look here at layer zero, I have M01, which is my first modifier. Uh, so layer one is all my media buttons and also changing modes. So these ones are defaulted beforehand, like QK already defaulted these to the uh, to these functions. But uh, for example, I added M for mute, uh, so control or function M mute, function uh, the brackets to skip or previous song, etc. Uh, I can so I can show you one right now. Say for example, I want uh, the so this right here is the knob uh, for the QK seventy five. This is uh, the direction. Uh, you can see in zero, uh, on layer zero, I have a volume up and down and play pause when I push it in. If I go one here, it's empty for the pushing in the knob. So I can change that to, for example, calculator. Now if I press function, press the knob down, boom, calculator comes up. So you can you can make uh, do all those functions here. Any key with a, a upside down triangle means it's uh, doing nothing right now. So I'm going to switch it back because I, I do want to keep it at nothing. Uh, so that's pretty much key mapping. Uh, it's pretty simple and you can really do it for any key. Now, if you want to change something to a macro key, you have all these functions. So let's go into macro mode here. Uh, you'll see them all listed out here. You can put in one key at a time uh, using this insert button here. So a, uh, a, you can press whichever key you want on the keyboard, mouse click, left, middle, right. Or you can add delay, so you can add like 12 seconds or 100 something seconds. Uh, you can't put any letters, so they, they do stop you there. So you have that. The easier way, of course, is to record your macro. You can record with a delay or without a delay. Uh, let me show you that. So let's do record right now. And I'll say, hi, my name is BioTF Anime. And we'll press stop. And uh, you can even insert something in between now here. So if I wanted to put a mouse click at the after the M, or in between. I think it's too like when you register the key versus when you input the key versus register maybe. I, I'm not sure what that is, but you can insert that there too. So let me save that to M0 and we'll go into function up arrow as our macro M0. I'll pull up notepad again. Now I do function up arrow. Hey look, hi my name is Bouty Fenemy. There we go. Uh, so it's quite easy to change your macros there. I'm going to switch that back again to nothing. And in the macros, you can also uh, move something up and down. Uh, you can delete that key out of it. Uh, I already did the insert. And if you want to clear out everything, you can just press that paintbrush icon. Uh, so that's pretty much QK config. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can download, I'll put the download link as well in the video description. But really, when you see the Notion pages, it should have those links already. So, um, that's pretty much it. A uh, quick update on my QK75. Right now I'm rocking Gazoo. I think they used to have Boba in, in name info U4Ts. So it sounds really nice and it feels great. And this keycap set is the GMK Haku, which is uh, a nice teal color in white. So I think it matches everything very well. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try my best uh, if I get to it to uh, answer any questions you have. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.